Gloucester, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001, 2100 hours. I know, I know, I promised I'd quit, but I was contacted by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obit Morton and the Apcanis writing tablets. Does that ring any bells? Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Carmi. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you want to contact Johnson, he's at 555-1495. Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. Somewhere in the United States, October 31st, 2001, 1800 hours, 43 minutes. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. And the professor? Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Daddy? Daddy! Miss Sedrak? Uh, Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline, when we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abcanist Stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. We're getting close. Shadow Island. What was that?
Kirby? Is that you? Stay calm. Everything's gonna be fine. Come and get me out of here. I landed on some kind of old manor. Everything's dark. I'm really scared. Listen, turn your flashlight on so I can spot you. Okay, worked fine. I can see you. What do I do now? Well, you've got to get inside the manor. There has to be a, a window or something. Find a safe place to hide and wait for me. But... I'll be there soon. Who are you? I do not recognize the sound of your steps. Please help me. I've had an accident. You should never have come here, young lady. This is not a place for you. Or anyone else. Why? What's going on here? My son Obed is in danger, young lady. Obed? You mean Professor Obed Morton? Creatures of darkness. You must help him. You must take Obed with you before it's too late. Wait, what creatures? The creatures of darkness? What is... You see, young lady, here on Shadow Island, the shadows are alive. <laughs> they come and lick your face like hellfire. The shadows are cold and sharp and... Like razor blades. The shadows stalk you. They feed off your breath and your heat, but mainly off of your fear. Light dispels the shadows, but light also reveals the shadows. Obed will explain this better than I can. Where is he? How would I know? I haven't seen him for three days now. The last time he came, he entrusted me with this key. A statue in the smoking room. Take it. Shh. Listen. I don't hear anything. That hush! Howard? Howard? Is that you, Howard? Oh, what in heaven's name are you doing? Who's Howard? It's my husband, of course. Obed's father. Howard? Young lady, please go have a look in the corridor. There might be a problem. Howard, is that you?
Turnby. I managed to get into the manor. I met Obed's mother. She scared the living daylights out of me, talking about creatures of shadows. Do you think that... Calm down, calm down. Did you question her? I tried. Then she started calling out to her husband, Howard! Anything more specific? She also talked about a statue in one of the rooms of the manor. The smoking room, I think. I'd rather you stay put where you are until I come to get you. No way! I'm not staying here. I won't stay here with her. As you wish. Exactly. I'm up in the attic. I'm going around in circles, all these monsters. I'm sure there's a key somewhere. Use your flashlight. You should have left me a weapon. Remember my telling you you had no inkling of the dangers to expect? Well, you should have told me twice. Carnby, this is no island. This is a nightmare. What have you dragged me into? First of all, I never dragged you into anything. Secondly, I told you to remain put. And third, I don't have any idea either. But where is all this coming from? Did we step into the Twilight Zone or what? I'm telling you, I have no idea. Anyhow, if you hear someone calling for help, beware. I don't understand. You'll understand way too soon.
Did you hear something? I want you to answer me. I swear, I heard something. Quit stalling. Did you talk about our research to this Mr. Lamb, yes or no? Well, how do you think I was able to find all those guinea pigs for you? That's your problem. Oh, no. It's not my problem. It's our problem. Listen carefully, Obed. I've been putting up with your whining and your cowardice for years, but it's over now. You've known my goals from the beginning, and nobody, especially not me, forced you into following me. So if I were to find out that you betrayed me, well, you know me, and you know I would not hesitate for a second. Oh, yes. I know you. I know you are completely mad. It's you! It's you who- Yes, it's me. And so what? Never cross me again. Ever. You stick to your narcotic stupor and let me fulfill our destiny. Carnby, I just overheard a discussion that might be of interest to us. Two men, one of whom was Obed, were arguing about someone called Lamb. Does that name ring a bell? First of all, it confirms that Obed Morton is on the island. Secondly, we know he's alive. And third, I've already heard that name, or read it, but for the time being, I can't remember where or when. Well, I'm impressed by your powers of analysis. Is that how one becomes a private detective? Keep your sarcasm on ice. You can dish it out once we've made it out of here. Anyhow, I'm warning you. If anything happens to Obed Morton, I will... Stop, please. You've got me all scared. stumbled upon a regular museum. The Morton's collections are downright impressive. Helene, can you forget your professor for five minutes and concentrate on getting out of here? If I were you, I'd try turning off a light. I noticed that light goes two ways on this island. Sometimes it reveals things, other times it hides them. Carnby, I simply hate riddles. Good, that wasn't one.
But Professor Morton... Professor? Professor! What are you doing here? I came to talk to you. I... To talk to me? Young lady, one doesn't come to Shadow Island to talk. Talking is useless here. Carnby? Carnby, answer me! Aline, I thought you were dead. I thought so too. I'm not cut out for a place like this. I want all this to stop right now. I understand that. You understand? You understand? You don't understand a thing! I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want with me, but all I want is for this nightmare to end right now! Look, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? In some room. Obed Morton drugged me and then locked me in here. And I tried to help him. Sounds like your wonderful professor might not be so wonderful after all. Don't move, I'm coming. Is that the best you can do? Yes, I am doing my best. Well, okay. Hurry up.
I'll take a look in the bedroom while I'm waiting for you. I'm sure I heard something, but... Aline, don't do anything stupid. Hey, you're not talking to a kid. And there's this mirror. A bit more reflection all round wouldn't hurt. Huh? Nothing. 